こハイメンハイメンいや No, I don't want to will attack The reason why I'm not buying any more cities is because I simply can't afford them I'm not too worried about losing this one because we were basically just exploring and I'm already suffering for money so losing a level 1 unit stack is so sort of a blessing you can get since they aren't cost effective they cost much more than they are good for okay someone shot with a cannon Uh, yeah, I think this is definitely the white space. Reason being simply that this is also where the lizard man main attack force seems to be. Ton of units. Demon produced, catapult produced. I think we'll be producing new units for a while. We simply can't afford them. We have a few stacks of hardened, uh, decent units moving around now. And what do we find in here? <sighs> Desertman headquarters, engage. Actually save and engage. Tactical combat. Water elemental. Physical protection. That's all it really has. Not that good of a unit. I guess a uh, weaker level looks like a weaker. It's probably level four, but it looks like a weaker level three, with the exception that it has physical protection. Naturally, it can swim too, so decent water unit. But not really. I'm not that impressed. It's sort of same with the air elemental. It's definitely not bad, but. Doesn't wow me in any really real kind of way. The flying and physical immunity, I think, in you know, the air elemental are much more useful than mediocre stats and physical protection on a water elemental. Air elemental has it all, but instead of protection, has immunity and it can also fly. So. Yeah. Kolari Lizardman Lear Your time has will end today We need to form a firing line we'll need, uh, We need to get rid of those water elementals It's not gonna be easy I think the warlords are better for it since they have magical weapons they have good stats otherwise too. So they're better fighters and they have no trouble with the physical protection. Yeah. No trouble at all. The water elementals has melted away immediately. Didn't offer any real resistance. We won't be rushing to his leader, we'll systematically just start clearing out this, this four troops. We're in no hurry at this point. Ok, 
can I cast this? No, they're still too far away. Yeah, they really don't have much. Few decent units, but very weak showing overall. Again, we'll leave the water elemental, the warlord. Their magical weapon ability should be great against it. Yeah, he had pretty much nothing to offer. Low level spell, which is rather good though, but that's it. We want to save the catapult. No point sacrificing it here, just kill him off. Ooh, he can hit back, and it hurts. But that's too little too late. The 46 Empire of the Lizards, but led by Kolari, was defeated. Only one remains. I think I'll use some magic to heal us up. Okay, you can heal. War machines with the healing water spell too, which is definitely odd. It's good to know. Sent another eight man stack searching for for the white leader. High man meter. He also has lost most of his important unit production facilities, so. Should I go look what they are selling here? Fountain of Life, yeah. Also a master of water magic, so. Totally useless. There she is. By she, I mean he, Uri. Uri? Uri? I think that's. But, yeah, and this caster hero with high buffs, less enchanted weapon. Yeah, two buffs. Golden Dragon for defense, Astra, a lot of trash units. This would be a very difficult fight for our stack, but at least we know where he is, so we can start moving our other, other stacks in that direction. Actually, he is attacking us. That's that's brilliant. He has a very powerful army though, no chance against it. Uh, we won't be focusing on summoned creatures, meaning those dragons. I have to kill something that hurts. That'll be these titans, I think. Yeah, first strike, good warrior, level 3 unit. But they have so much health, we can make maybe kill one. We're not hitting that well. Reading. Can I shoot there? Yes, I can. Okay, he has two points of life. I think we can risk. No. Not gonna risk anything yet. We 
want kills. Jesus Christ, they also move a ton. There's no point attacking against those dragons, we'll just cast them again. Even if we got a kill by some miracle. Want those titans dead. Kill at least one. Oh, come on, game. Thank you. Okay, we'll now. focus on killing the weaker units now. There's not much else we can do. Maybe we could kill one titan. But the titans have the first strike ability, and that's bad. Every time we attack them, they'll attack hit us first. And one of the demons is already dazed. got one more archer before the end. They do have quite an overwhelming force here. At least three level four units, few level threes and a lot of support. Now they're experienced army too. Okay, let's get going. Our goal is to just get out of town there, any town will do. I think that's our man to do it. Our one right roaming around there. The enemy doesn't have any... Yeah, it has three shamans. Yeah, I can bypass him there mm, there's not really much I can do Let's just wait and see if they can capture one town there The shamans are the only ones who can hurt us, so, so they're the only ones who bother attacking. That's sensible. Not so much we can do, we'll lose this. We only have 6 points of health, so... And that's it. Easy to kill once you get past the immunity. That it matters, we now have a full stack of loops going here. We should be easily to able to get that size 4 city, and after that, we can get our main army there. With the spellcasting ability, I'm sure it's sufficient to actually win the fight. I'm sure actually that the right alone is sufficient to win this fight. We have a full stack of support troops. We have a full stack 
take off main army troops. That should be enough to handle him. the city. That's odd. You sure? What the hell is he thinking? I have no idea. I have a significant force here so... I have no idea what he's thinking. Absolutely not. Not, not a clue. We have several demons so... Going out and killing his siege unit isn't going to be exactly hard. And he has one. One battering ram. Well, let's see what happens. Who knows? Maybe he'll succeed. Actually, more interested in killing his unit. Save now. Yeah, battering ram is all that's left. I have no idea what, what he was thinking about. Start moving troops closer to the enemy. Yeah, he can't win. I don't think the undead are a bad race, but you have to commit to them fully and not want to play with really anything else. That's why they are sort of troublesome to play. But they do have quite a bit of they have the demons, then they have these tricky units that can be very powerful if you know how to use them. I'm moving the units like this because this is simultaneous move. The enemy hasn't finished moving, so he might attack if I just move one stack. Helpless against shamans. So what? Tier level two unit. Yeah, the next turn will be the end. It will do automatic. Next turn will be the end of this map. One way or the um, or another. Again, we'll move. Yeah, they finished their turn. So here goes. Basically, their leader plus two golden dragons. Mm. 
actually form up with the northern stack because they have a lot of five more siege weapons. War machines, only at two catapults. But that's that's the kind of firepower we definitely could use against those golden dragons. The warlord and the yeti will provide close range support against the enemy melee units rushing our way. And he has two titans. Okay, those are. They just look so similar to the cool turtles that I didn't notice them earlier. Yeah, we're doing quite well at the moment. Still need to form up the war machines. If we're spread around, it will be much easier to take and defeat. Take a few arrows without any problems. So let them shoot. Here comes the real trouble. Two titans, two golden dragons, and our very fearless leader will start focusing on the titans immediately. doing anything to them. Shit. Um, we're doing quite well actually. I mean this this all the bit yeah we lost a war machine. I think I'm gonna arrange some crap on one of the golden dragons. Great tail, no, can't, it's too far out. Focus fire on the titan. And focus fire on the nearest golden dragon. Ooh, a fantastic hit from the boulder. Yeah, almost a 10 points of damage. The purpose of. Yeah, I'm gonna save at least one demon from behind my one. I can't get a demon for the next mission. Demon down. I think now they're in hailstorm range, so let's hailstorm them and we'll get both dragons at the same spell. Now they both have lost half their health. Pretty hard to hit though. Not doing not doing much. One golden dragon down. Okay now. 
The enemy is pretty close, so I'm gonna have to clear things up a bit. And, um. Yeah. Focus fire until the remaining dragon. Shoot him down. Keep cool, shoot it down. Everything on it. Every single point of damage done is fantastic. I'm gonna aggress with the demon. Yeah, that's very risky. Let's see what else we can do. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's the other dragon down. Only the hero is left. He has a uh, extreme amount of mana left. So why isn't he casting anything? I'm a little confused and afraid, so I'm gonna throw him away, just in case he has some close quarter spell that he can yeah, throw. Yeah, he's not taking any damage from spells. Okay, he's the primary target, everyone focus fire on him. He has nice stats, but he should be taking damage too. Yeah, there it goes. Damage is starting to bleed. Starting to stick to him, he's lost half his health. One point left. Anyone wants a promotion? Now's a good time to attack. Yeah, one of the demons could use it. We'll wait and see what he does here. Yeah, he destroyed one of the war machines. Big deal. Get him. Yeah. On day 56, the Emperor of the Highmen, led by Yuri, was defeated. And Gorak of the Undead, you were victorious. Tick, 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 yeah. Okay, the aftermath. Reward returned. I have the island. The power of Burub attack enabled Iniac to gather more of his followers. As a reward, Iniac reached into my heart and brought her back to me. Draped in black cloth, she stood here, stood with her mouth half agape and arms outstretched. My dear Melanis is raised from the dead. She is not alive, she is undead. How could Iniac grant what I wanted, yet be so cruel? She follows me like a shadow, obedient, yet saying nothing. Her touch is cold. How can I dispose of this horrific gift? And here we're starting to see what the undead ways campaign won't end up really well because you're there undead, they don't get it. It's, you get what you want in a way, but living with them as a living being is not something you want to do.